Hey everybody, I have a new vlog today with a special guest. Come on over. It's so nice to be here with you again. My niece, Michaela, is hanging out with me today. So do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> um, Kayla's mom, my sister, um, and uh, her oldest daughter and her husband are all off to see Hofstra. Um, Kayla's older sister, Mackenzie, is going to be a senior in high school. And so she is starting to look at colleges. And so um, Kayla and her sister, Alexa, who you guys have met in the past, are here to hang out with me and Rich today. And so Kayla decided she would like to say hello to everybody. Everybody. And so figured we would pop on for a few minutes and uh, and share. I know that Michaela has recently been to Cancun on vacation. Do you want to tell anybody about your vacation? Um, well, I, we went to Cancun. Um, we had so many things to do, but most of the time we were, we, we weren't at our hotel room. Um, it was only a couple of days that we had to do just do whatever we want. We got haircuts. We went to go to cenotes. Um, we went on we went on zip lining and we went to the pool. We went to water slides or yeah, we went to the water park and um, we went to a lot of and we had a lot of good food. Mm, it sounds like an awesome time. So exciting. I've actually been there with Michaela before and um, our, my family is going to be going there in December. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. And I wish Kayla could come back with us because we had so much fun when we were all there together as yeah. a family. Because our rooms were just like it was like a great right across mm -hmm. from each other. Mm -hmm. And so we knew. Yeah, and Kayla was younger then, but um, she and her sister had asked their parents if they could move there. Do you remember that? Yeah. You wanted to move there. Yeah. <laughs> so, but how old are you now? I'm 10, 10 and a half, Getting actually. so grown up. Amazing. And what grade are you in school? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Oh, my goodness. You're making me feel old. So, so old. Fifth grade. Amazing. Amazing. Well, Kayla is one of my big supporters. So I'm really, really proud to, to say that uh, she's one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel. And we might be doing some crafting later today. So we'll have to figure that out, right? Yeah. Is there anything in particular that you want to do? Um, I, I don't know, because I mean, you know, like someone, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? What kind of crafts do you like to do? I just I, I I like to do things that really no one would think of and just and just kind of see what I have at mm -hmm. my house and kind of just kind of just look through and make something up and make it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, That's a lot of what I do. You know mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So I'll get inspired by something I see online and and try to figure out how to make it. Yeah. Okay. So. A little bit of an interruption here um, because I almost completely forgot. I wanted to tell you about my friends at Rose Forever. They sent me this cute little box and it is a velvet box. It's round. I'd say it's about six inches tall and maybe seven inches across. Um, but it's a sweet little box. What do you think's in here? Um, something to do with roses maybe I or think... like crafts. Roses. Yeah, you think? Yeah. So let's open it up. You want to take the lid off? Sure. <gasps> Look at that. I knew it. Yeah, they're roses. And Ooh. they are treated with special oils. And so they will stay fresh, apparently. Can you see that? They'll stay fresh for up to a year, according to the package instructions. So if you're looking for any kind of a special and unique gift that you want to have last for a little bit longer than what a normal um, set of roses might last for, this might be a good option. It's really sweet for Mother's Day, right? 
The, the, these I don't think have a scent. Yeah, they smell like oil, kind of. Yeah, so these um, these are not scented, but I understand that they do have scented ones as well, and they have all different colors. So clearly they sent me white, um, but I know I've seen on their website that they have blues and purples and pinks and all red, obviously they would have red, um, but all different colors and it's um, all natural and yeah. and. I know you're not supposed to touch them because the oils in your fingers might do something to them, but um, I can't help myself. They just look so pretty. So yeah, I need to refrain from touching them, but, um, but they are real roses and they're just treated with the special oils so that they don't um, dry up and, and crumble and get brown or whatever else. Um, so yeah, so I just want to make sure that I got to pop on here, say very um, a big thanks to Rose Forever for sending these my way. They will adorn my table and uh, they'll be beautiful for a year. So back to the regularly scheduled program. But, uh, but yeah, so the girls are here today and Rocky is here. We've got Sammy here. Alexa was out in the yard playing with Sammy a lot. So you were out with the pups too, right? Yeah, I was looking at Rocky to see yeah and uh, rocky tried to take off so we had that incident sorry kim <laughs> we got it back oh. but uh yeah that's right so if you heard sammy he's got his ball over here and he's trying to tell somebody that he wants to play some more um because that is the way he rolls he likes to play fetch with the ball yeah he does yeah he's but kind of relentless with it right you. yeah you want to come say hi come here sam come on, sam yeah, no, mm -hmm. he's just standing there wagging his tail and hoping somebody will put, throw the ball for him. <laughs> why don't I put the ball right here? Right here. Okay. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think. So I don't think I'm going to have a vlog next Sunday, just to let you know, because I will be out of town and I don't think I'm going to be able it's to. Birthday. Uh, yeah, Wednesday is my birthday, right? But. Uh, but Sunday, I'm, I'm going to be out of town, and I don't think I'm going to be able to visit with you next Sunday. So I apologize for that. But I am working on, I have a, I didn't even tell you, I have a Dollar Tree haul I need to do. And uh, I have some crafts that I'm trying to get done for, for Friday. And then I was also trying to see if I could get that Canva tutorial um, done. So doing my best to get crafts up for this coming Friday. If I don't make it, it will be either a Dollar Tree haul or a Canva tutorial because those are a little bit easier to do as far as up oh, and here's Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. <laughs> Hi Rocky. Oh. <laughs> it's the puppy kingdom today. But um but there will be something posted for Friday. I just don't know yet what I will have done. Rocky, you make a better door than window. <laughs> so but I'm trying to think what else can we tell them about Kayla? Oh, you want to tell them about school? Can you sit rock? Yeah. Um, I still go to an elementary school. Just don't tell them where. I know. Mm -hmm. Um, and I have a really big, big project coming up, but it ha kind of has to do with crafts. You basically just make your own invention. Really? Yeah. And that is called the Carry No More. It um, it kind of helps with like if you go to the grocery <laughs> store, or, like a restaurant, a lot. <laughs> In Ocean City, I remember my, my dad, mm -hmm. like, we, me and Alexa wanted to go to a different restaurant than what my mom want, wanted yeah. to go to. And so my dad had to carry things all the way like, up to his head, like all, like, all the way up to his chin. Oh, my or, like, goodness. His lips. And so he, when he tried to call my mom, it, like, it, it, it looked like he was gonna, it was all of it was going to fall. Yeah. Because me and Alexa could only hold our drinks because it was so cold. We had to switch hands. And um, so... The Carry No More, basically, it has like kind of like a tray type. It has Tupperware on your hip. It's a belt with suspenders, mm -hmm. so it holds it up so you can eat while you're walking. Oh, and nice. it has cup two cup holders, and it has two hooks, so you can also put bags there if you get that. That sounds amazing. That's great, especially when you have little kids that need help carrying their food and drinks, right? Okay. Very good. Excellent. So have you already built this? Yeah. Neat. It's due Thursday. Excellent. Well, you'll have to uh, share a picture with your dad wearing it or something or with you wearing it. And maybe I, I can put I, it in the I, video. I, I do have a photo of me right now. Excellent. Excellent. And then I'm working with my friend. Yeah. Uh, her name's Lily. And um, 
it w it was really fun making it, but it was also very stressful because like we the most stressful part is we need a trifold in order to present it. Mm -hmm. And it was ours didn't doesn't have really have a theme since there is no theme. And there's another one that had that, that is so amazing that I saw to my other friends. The invention called is called floating puppies, mm -hmm. and it's it, it's actually really cool. It's like for dogs, that, that, that it has to be 30 pounds and under. Mm -hmm. So it's for little puppies. And it's mm -hmm. like a little tub. And if they're afraid of the water, it, it's like a clear bin, kind of, mm -hmm. with like pool floaties. So when you get in the water, you won't sink. Oh, and you won't nice. Have to swim. And that's a problem because Rocky hates the water, but he doesn't even like to go near it. So mm -hmm. I don't think he'd even get it. In yeah. That. But. Well, it's kind of cool. A little dog yeah. boat. Yeah. And it's called Floating Puppies. And it has, they put words. Um, and when in a trifold, it has like, it had clouds, it has the sky, and then there's like balloons, kind of, the words, the letters are balloons, mm -hmm. and they say floating puppies, there are photos, fun. there are like letters and stuff, and, it, and it, 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 it's really fun to make, but it's also very stressful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. It sounds like there's a lot of creativity happening with inventions and stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Yeah, so Kayla's busy with school. Elena's almost done with school. So Elena's going to be back a week from tomorrow. So she originally was coming back on the 13th, but she has most of her final exams are going to be online now. So she's going to be done with her in-person exams as of uh, next Monday. So she's going to get to come home soon. So that'll be excellent to have her back. Jordan is still out on a ship somewhere. When do you guys finish up your school? Um, it's sometime in June. June. It's yeah. sometime in June. But I also do have another uh, a pr project. I, another project. I'm so sad because before we had like three long term reading projects, that's what it's called. And basically, there are three columns, and you choose one of those columns. Like, you have to choose a different column each time because there were three of them. Mm -hmm. So, you have to choose them from each column once. And so. There's like act it out, like you read a book, like whatever book you want, but it has to be like th for fifth grade. <laughs> and um, so it, it has to be like fifth grade, but it cannot be graphic novel or like a comic. So it's kind of, you just, you just choose something and basically you do a big presentation on it. And that was for a reading. And then we, when we thought it was over, there was, there's another one in June, June 3rd, I'm pretty sure. And except it's for social studies, so we don't get to read the book. It's gonna be a lot okay. harder because I, I don't like like social studies. It's hard to be, it's hard for me to focus in social studies because mm. it's just boring. <laughs> I always found it hard to focus on social studies too. But oh uh, <laughs> goodness! Oh, Rocky! <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, but so are you looking forward to the summer? I heard you're going to a summer camp. Um, I'm going to two sleepaway camps and one day camp. Oh my goodness, two sleepaway camps. Yeah, because I got invited into like a special program from one of the teachers at my school. That's wonderful. Because I was really, I'm, I'm really good with STEM and stuff. Mm-hmm. STEM, that's like science and computers yeah, and things? Yeah, but there are going to be like three different She's things sweet. and it's going to be for five days. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be you know, staying in the dorm room, I guess. Mm-hmm. I like that. And Exciting. I, it's, they're one of them is CSI. Mm -hmm. Oh, CSI. Engineering and the doctor, like. That's fantastic. I, and I love crime scene investigation. That's great. Good for you. Excellent. And then a regular sleepaway camp? With, yeah, yeah. My, uh, camp, camp Cayuga. Mm, nice. I'm, I'm not really, like, looking forward to that one because I'm not going to my phone. Last time I really missed my mom. With yeah. That. I think you'll be okay though. Yeah, I also know more people because I know some of my friends are going. Black right. Box is also going. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be it'll be better when you have your sister there and you've got friends <laughs> you already know. I think that'll be great. Excellent. And did you? I don't know if I told you so. Olivia, her prom is coming up on Friday. Sammy mm -hmm. is up here trying to find his ball. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. <laughs> 
but um, Olivia's got her prom on Friday. And then I'm going to see the Long Island Medium. I'm very excited to go and see that. And we'll see what happens. But um, she is going to be at a local um, venue in Pennsylvania, which is about an hour from here. And uh, so we've got tickets. So that's what I we're going to be doing. And um, yeah, my birthday's this week, but I will be out of town for that. So Rich has been really sweet. He took me out for dinner last night and we celebrated with Olivia yesterday for a late lunch also. So I am getting spoiled, but thank you for joining me on the vlog today. You're welcome. So it was really great to hang out with you guys. I'm glad that I finally got to introduce Michaela to you. Lex is over here on her iPad. Did you want to say hello before we say goodbye? What? What? <laughs> you want to wave? <laughs> so that's what we are doing today, hanging out here at the house before I have to go and take off on an airplane. But um, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you for uh, spending a little bit of your day with me and with Michaela. And until the next time, be well, be kind, and make it a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Take good care. Bye. Bye.